Hello friends, this is Sirajuddin, PhD scholar from the Department of Agronomy from Govind Bhalla Pant University of Agriculture and Technology, Pandnagar. Before I start this video and to let you know about something about this video, I would like to introduce myself a bit because you all must be wondering who am I. So basically my name is Sirajuddin as I have already told you, I am right now uh, you know, pursuing PhD from the Department of Agronomy in GBPUAT Pannagar. And to highlight some of my achievements, I was being facilitated by Ministry of Higher Education, Government of India, and was selected among 100 meritorious students from all over India on the basis of my excellent academic performance in the graduation and why I was also invited as a Prime Minister guest to witness the Republic Day Parade from the Prime Minister box. And then I was the Chancellor Medalist in the graduation of HNB Garhwal Central University, Srinagar. I was also nominated for the Best Student Award in MSc degree in GBPUAT Pannagar. I have qualified twice ICINET in 2014 and 2015. I have got All India rank 6th in ICR SRF uh, in the subject group of agronomy. Then 7th rank in the GBPUAT PhD entrance exam. I have 2 years of teaching experience including 1 year as a HOD agriculture. So let us move to the first slide. So basically this is not a lecture video as such. Before I start the lecture videos, it is very important to, you know, aware yourself that what is your competitive status. So this test is to test you, you know, uh, the competi competitive status of yours. So the rules to be followed to play this test or to, you know, attempt this test are as follows. In this video, you will be asked 20 questions. Questions 1 to 5 are of easy category, 6 to 10 of average category, 11 to 15 of difficult category and 16 to 20 of current agriculture. You read the questions carefully and answer them on your paper sheet. Then after attempting all the questions, you read the conclusion to know your status. And one more thing, be genuine while you are attempting your questions because it is for your sake and for your academic growth. All the best guys. So here we go to the another slide. So this is the category one. Your question number one is, what is the average annual rainfall of India? I repeat, what is the average annual rainfall of India? Your options are 1000 mm, 1194 mm, 1500 mm and 1700 mm. So you put your answer on your paper sheet. The second question is what is the base temperature for wheat? Is it 6 degrees Celsius, 10 degrees Celsius, 4.5 degrees Celsius and 3.5 degrees Celsius. Moving on. What is the family of buckwheat? Your options are Poesi, Polygonesi, Brassicaceae, and Tiliaceae. Your fourth question is What is the biological agent to control Parthenium weed? Your options are Bacter varituna, Halotica cyani, Octo Octotomus. Scary panis, then Zygogramma bicolorata. Your question number five is which, is which instrument is basically used to measure photosynthetically active radiation? Your options are quantum sensor, albedometer, pyranometer, or both B and C. So, this is all about the category one, which is under the category of easy. Let us move on to the category 2. So, sixth question. Father of organic farming. Your options are 
Mosanabu Fukuoka, Albert Howard, Subhash Palker, and Rudolf Steiner. Moving on, question number seven. Which law is applied to estimate the textural status of soil? Your options are Fick's law, Fourier's law, Stokes' law, and Beer's law. Question number eight. What is the size of the coarse sand? Is it more than 2 mm, 2 to 1 mm, 1 to 0.5 mm, or 0.5 to 0.25 mm. Question number 9. Biological agent to control Cypress rotundus. Your options are Bacteria varicina, Halotica cyanii, Octotomus scabrimanis, then Zygogramma bicolorata. Tenth question of the category 2. What is the seed rate of Bt cotton? Is it 5 kg per hectare, 2.5 kg per hectare, 1.5 kg per hectare, or 3 kg per hectare? So this was under the category of average. Let us move on to the category 3. So, 11th question is, who is regarded as the father of herbicide safeners? Your options are Jethro Tull, Vincent Schaeffer, uh, that is Vincent Schaeffer, Hoffman, and Rudolf Steiner. Question number 12 is, who is associated with Ropevic applicator? Is it J. Dill, Fourier, Lister, or Phillips? Your question number 13. Erie South Asia Regional Center is situated at Bhopal, Varanasi, West Bengal or Hyderabad. Moving on, the question number 14. Milpa system of Central America or you can say Sweden is modified form of mixed cropping, intercropping, multi-storied cropping and shifting cultivation. The last question for the category 3 is, that is the 15th question, if the total nitrogen content of a soil is 0.05%, find out the quantity of nitrogen in one hectare field covering 15 cm of soil depth and the bulk density of the soil is 1.5 gram per centimeter cube. Your options are 1355 kg per hectare, 1120 kg per hectare, 1525 kg per hectare, and 1336 kg per hectare. Moving on to the last category that is the current agriculture. The 16th question is Who won the Global Agriculture Leadership Award for 2018 by ICFA? Your options are MS Swaminathan, Rajendra Singh. Subhash Palka or Professor Lal. Question number 17 is Recent food grain production of India is 275 million ton, 284 million ton, 295 million ton, or 298 million ton. The 18th question is The GI tag for Kadaknath is given to which state? Let me repeat this GI tag. For Kadaknath is given to which state? Is it Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Uttarakhand or Jharkhand? Then the second last question of the test is Kalia is a support scheme for farmers of which state? Is it Assam, Sikkim, Odisha or Jammu and Kashmir? The last question, that is question number 20. Annual income support to all farmers with land up to 2 hectares under Union Budget 2019 is rupees 5,000, rupees 6,000, rupees 8,000 and rupees 12,000. I hope you all have given the answers. So let us move to the answer key. So are you all ready? 
to know your answers. So here is the answer key. So this is the answer key. You can check out your result. You just tick the questions which are correct and put cross in front of those questions which are wrong and then count them and also assure from which category majority of the questions are correct. So this is the answer key. You can pause the video and can easily check your answers. Now moving on. This is the conclusion part. If your majority of correct answers fall under the category 1 that is easy only and rest of the answers are wrong or majority of the answers in the category of 2, 3, 4 are wrong, it means you have not started your preparation yet. If your majority of correct answers fall under category 1 and 2 but rest of the answers are wrong, it means you are in the initial phase of preparation. If your majority of correct answers fall under category of 1, 2 and 3 but rest of the answers are wrong, that means in the category 4 your all answers are wrong, then it means you are in advanced phase of preparation but lacking in current agriculture affair. And if all your answers are correct, it means you need to maintain this stability in preparation till you give the examination. So this was a simple test of having only 20 questions which means that there is a lot more to learn. So keep going students and you know make your subjects easy with my Agri Tutorial YouTube channel and please do subscribe and share it with your friends on FB, on WhatsApp. Thank you very much.